Be very quiet, everybody. We don't want to startle it. It likes the fruit. I'll go. Huh? What is that? Here's a good example of uh, what geology would call cross bedding. And that is not what this is. This is actually tissue. You see how this comes up here like this. This comes across. This comes up and joins right here. Okay, and then they come out here and run like that. There's some more down here that shows it pretty good. But this is this is also this is the way tissue fibers and stuff run. Oh boy, here I go killing again. You can see how it's really fine. This runs up into there. This comes across here. That does look like a fantastic example of cross bedding within a sedimentary rock. However, I get the feeling he doesn't agree with me. Here's a really good example. See how it looks like, it almost looks like muscle fiber, but most of all the tissues run like this and they're, looks like a paintbrush is, you know, ran them together. You got this line coming across here. You got this coming up and intersecting into it. You know, you got this one coming over to stop and you got this one going across the top of that. But this is the way tissues form. The mud fossil mindset is a very tenuous combination of extreme pareidolia with not knowing what the fuck you're talking about. So when he says this stuff looks like tissue, he of course is not describing any particular type of tissue because I guess tissue is tissue. And he says it looks like tissue because he saw a picture of a tissue that looked sort of similar. Never mind all the other various varieties of tissue, quote unquote, out there in reality. You can look it up. It's real it's real simple to see. It's not complicated at all. Fucking idiot. But this is not sedimentary deposits. Especially not all in one spot out of Coos Bay, Oregon and nowhere else. <laughs> ah! Tell me how that works. You want me to explain to you how a marine environment sedimentary deposit can exist in a marine environment? Something tells me you don't know the first thing about geology. You obviously didn't pay attention when they covered that in what, seventh grade. So maybe you shouldn't be trying to explain this concept to others. Why is there no sedimentary deposit? Why up there at the membrane is there just a membrane? And no set none of this. None of this. If it's sedimentary deposits, there's plenty of sediment there to deposit. Why is it not deposited there? I don't know this jackass's exact location, but this area is well and thoroughly mapped. All the formations are organized and are easy to find and understand if you take five seconds out of your day and go find them. Hell, I provide the link down below. Read the geologic maps, learn the geology yourself. Ask yourself that. Why is it all just right here? Right here at Cape Arago? Because you're on a certain part of the creature, up higher, those one other places I'm down deeper in them. What the fuck does certain part of the creature stand for? Are you talking about an elbow? Are you talking about some hair follicles? What does this particular sedimentary feature exactly match to on this quote unquote creature? You try to sound all mystical and full of knowledge, but you're just spewing nonsense. See how the center is on that one there, that interstitial ball? Another mud fossiler? Another lover of balls. How surprising. Balls, 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 balls. That's how it gets down here. It falls off of there. <laughs> and I'm down here. Brilliant! Oh yeah, there's a lot of the balls in there. Balls, 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 balls. Okay, I used the other camera and all the balls, those uh, the, called more, more, the interstitial balls, are showing there. I usually like to pride myself on my professionalism and ability to hold back from the obvious jokes. But he's talking about how happy he is to be able to show us his balls. What am I supposed to do about this? Those blueberries or the interstitial are still underneath the fabric. In fact, there's part of the fabric right there. There's like one, two. Well, anyway, that, that's fabric right there. Remember, I'm no biologist, but I still like to try to track down whatever the fuck these people are talking about to get a better understanding because, of course, they never explain themselves. Interstitium is, according to Wikipedia, the contiguous fluid-filled space existing between a structural barrier, such as skin, and internal structures, such as organs, muscles, what have you. Within the interstitium, most of the cartoons you see have something called a CD34 
positive lining cell. If you Google that, you get things that have little blue dots on them. So my assumption is when he talks about interstitium balls, <laughs> he's referring to these blue images from like the first Google images of interstitium that you find. That's the best I can make of this whole catastrophe. And then you can see that's the next layer down of the fabric and the interstitium balls are still in the fabric. They're not eroded and sticking out like they are over there. So we do get to see what they look like while they're still in the fabric. When you get this stupid in your beliefs, you have so many different ways to be made fun of. I'm going to use, for this example, the scale conversation. So, remember, he is saying that he is looking at interstitium right now. And interstitium is the stuff that's between your skin and your muscle. That's how tiny what we're talking about is. And this gigantic swath is apparently between muscle and skin exclusively. So how big is this thing exactly that used to live on the earth where you have, what, hundreds of yards, hundreds of square yards around that's just the space between the skin and the muscle? How deep is the muscle, right? The absolute stupid scale at which these people talk about these mud fossils is just more evidence that they are completely wrong. Uh, that's the next layer up or two, whatever, from the fabric. And you see how it's just smooth across. You would never even know if it was covered up all the fabric was covered with that right now. You'd never see the interstitching balls because that'd be on top. The fuck is the fabric? Why are the only medical terms you use required to have the word balls in them? Do you not know any other medical terms besides balls? Balls, 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 balls. We're just down lower in the fabric itself to see the interstitial balls. And if that was gone, then you'd see the balls expose themselves like you do over there. <laughs> Excuse me. All right, hope that explains it because I just confused the heck out of myself. No, <laughs> man, it got foggy. Holy cow. Holy cow, okay. Must be Hindu. <laughs> Sorry. Comedy gold. There's more of the interstitial balls right below me. The fabric's all gone. There's only like a handful of them though. You took them. <laughs> the matting is still here and all these interstitial balls. See all those round balls? See all them? They're still in the fabric. The fabric is really decayed. But those are those like those Mars blueberries that they're talking about you see all the time. Isn't it fun when these idiots give away their own plot? The Mars blueberries, as they're called, are evidence to scientists that Mars once had liquid water. That's how you get rocks in this shape. Because water erodes them and weathers them to look this way. So, I wonder, how do these rocks on this beach come to look this way? Same thing here on Earth, okay? See all those balls? Balls, 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 balls. Now, looks to me like I've still got some that's in the fabric that are not. See that little swirly lines, all those lines, see that? That's a fabric of some sign, some kind that's been worn down. I believe the interstitial balls might still be in that underneath those of that. I have included below a link to the geological port of this area to save you the exhausting work of googling it yourself. To summarize, this area that I think Arago Bay is how he pronounces it, is a combination of mostly sandstones but with some conglomerates and some igneous deposits as well. What happens when you mix these together is sandstone is very weak and very susceptible to weathering. Therefore, it is susceptible to being removed by, let's say, the tides. Conglomerates and igneous rock are less susceptible to this weathering, so you, they end up staying put while the sand and the sediments are removed. This process results in these rounded shapes that you find on the beach because you have a mixture of different sediments down there. It doesn't take a lot of time to figure this stuff out. If you really want to know the geology, go look for the geology. Of course, our buddy here doesn't want to actually know the geology. He is much happier living in his fantasy. Cause I can see there's like humps of round balls in there, but they're covered with this matting. 
If that were true, it would be easy enough for him to go down there and chisel out these pre-made balls and prove his theory. Will he do that? I'll let you decide. That's not gonna happen, Rick! Yeah, it looks to me, yeah, I can see balls poking through. That's what it is. That's still got the fabric on it. Some of the fabric is not totally gone yet, and the balls are underneath that. That's why you see it humped up and looking so much weirder than that I just showed you over there. See those tube-looking things? Yeah, <laughs> There was other interstitching balls right over there. I walked on just a little bit ago. Uh, pal here has been walking on balls. I feel there's a joke here someplace. Yeah, I believe that's what's going on. That is, that's that fabric. In fact, hey, hey, whoa, 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 look at that. There's a layers of it, different layers of it right there. It's not eating away. See those layers right there? Why does he keep saying eaten away? Something's eating these rocks? <sighs> Again, we have a complete lack of understanding of geology and the mechanisms by which geology function. These rocks are not being eaten by something, they're being weathered and or eroded and or both. And you got those up there. They've been eaten away, laying there. So the closer you get to the water, the more eroded the rocks become. Hmm, I wonder if there's a connection. But anyway, that's the interstitching fabric. And you can see there's part of it left. It hasn't been all eroded yet. Down there it is, where the balls are sticking out. Here the balls are still under the fabric, so to speak. Hooray, he used the word correctly. Now we gotta break the news to him that the stratigraphy that he's standing on is very deep and therefore does not represent a tiny little layer between skin and muscle. And also, Interstitium doesn't have balls in it. Balls, 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 balls. They usually just have a round center in them where uh, a uh, tenon ball is constructed totally different on the inside, I've noticed. The ones I have down here and the ones I'm finding. I suppose tendon balls and interstitium balls would be constructed differently, given that they're both not real and based entirely in your imagination. There's one with a center in it. That's what the centers look like. I find them more like that one right there. They got a center like that, okay? That's an interstitium ball. And that's what the centers usually look like. They got a, a round center in them, okay? Usually I find them flush. I don't find one coned out like that, but they got a center in them like that with that rind around it. That's, that's what the interstitium balls usually have in them. Take a few moments and look close at this image. Does this resemble some sort of seed in a fruit? Two different components point of view? Or is this just one big rock? To me, this looks like a rock. But to our buddy here, this apparently is proof that it's an interstitium ball. Which, need I remind you, is not a thing. Of course, then we got... It's not a membrane, but that's definitely a different layer of tissue than what we got going on here up there. Yes, that does appear to be a different layer. That is correct. But connecting the fact that these two rocks aren't identical to some sort of interwoven skin, membrane, muscle combination with these random balls layered throughout is a huge leap. You can't make that jump you, without massive amounts of evidence, right? And sadly, he doesn't provide any evidence here. All these mud fossil videos are old white guys walking on a beach, pointing at rocks that they don't understand, and yelling the word balls a lot. That's literally all that happens. It's easy for me to make fun of it because it's old guys pointing at balls. This is probably the easiest joke in the history of all jokes that have ever existed. So to leave a watch is <laughs>